Hey guys, um, as you can see here, we got the new 1.2 version of the app, the Diablo 3 Armory app, unofficial by the way. Um, and uh, as you can hear the sound, um, there's a new music feature which plays the, the old Diablo 1 music. And uh, let me just turn that off right here. Um, but a lot of people were asking for that, so definitely had to get that in. Um, uh, as far as the other new features, um, on the news page, uh, any news that you've read is kind of grayed out a bit, and any news that's new is sort of shinier. So if you click on that and read through it, come back, it's, uh, you can see that uh, it's been kind of grayed out so you know what you've read and you know what's new. Um, the other main features, aside from a few bug fixes and stuff, is in the classes page. So if we go to any sort of class here, um, on the skills page, the button for skills and uh, passive and active skills has been updated to be a bit nicer um, and a bit bigger for your thumb to be able to tap. Um, and now in the skill calculator where the majority of the changes happened, um, when you choose a new skill now, you'll notice that everything's a lot bigger now. Um, there's a lot more room and things are rearranged back into their nice little rows. Um, and as for the tool tips now, so rather than have the bottom area always say the information as we did before, um, now you just hold down on it and uh, you can see the tool tips like that. And you can just drag right through them with your thumb so you don't have to like lift up, click on the next one, click on the next one, click on the next one. You can just go right through them. Uh, a lot faster and a lot nicer, I think. Um, now you might notice up here the tooltips below, so it'll be your thumb will kind of cover it. Um, the solution for that is that we have a tooltip link, so you can set it to five seconds, tap on something, and then just lift your thumb and then just read it. Um, that was the only sort of solution for that because we can't uh, fit it up there. Um, but these ones should be easier to read because it'll be above your thumb. Um, and then you just double tap to choose it. And then the runes, same sort of thing, you can just drag through, which is a lot nicer now. And passives, uh, you can do the same thing. Um, so yeah, it's a lot nicer, a lot cleaner interface, I think, and the buttons are bigger, so that helps everybody. Um, and the other big thing on here is that um, if you shake your device, so let me just simulate it on the simulator here, shake, um, it'll let you randomize, so you can click randomize after you've shake, shaken the device, and you get a complete random build, which you can save or share or whatever, um, and that's pretty cool. I mean, some people were asking for that too, so we've got to throw that in there. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all the changes, um, mostly just sort of design changes. Um, and we are aware that some rune information did change on Blizzard's calculator, but it looks like it might only be the rank of the rune. Um, their calculator is set to rank 4 runes, ours is rank 7, which was their old numbering system. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, ours is still correct, they just changed their, their numbering to be at a lower rune rank, which I'm not totally sure why. It might be to do with uh, crafting or something, but... Um, we're still going to keep our information on uh, rank 4 runes, I mean rank 7 runes, sorry. Um, so that's pretty much it, and uh, go go download the update if you have the app. Uh, should be out relatively soon after this video uh, is released, so thanks for watching.